How does road and bridge construction become a sustainable process? This was a question the Federal Highway Administration asked. The answer was the creation of INVEST, a scoring system which looks at all aspects of construction to measure a project's sustainability. Both phases of the GVV bridge project have been scored. The first phase earning gold status and prompting ODOT to have construction companies build sustainability into their bids for the second phase. Trumbull Great Lakes Rulin, the contractors on the second phase, have earned a platinum score, the highest possible. But how is sustainability measured? Literally in every aspect of the project, from its planning phase to completion. Some of the measures include reducing congestion and emissions, both on the interstate with additional lanes, including breakdown lanes, and off the highway with more efficient movement on downtown streets. Additionally, the breakdown lanes can be used as bus-only lanes, should the situation arise. Bicycle and pedestrian access. Building a portion of the towpath trail on the west side and an all-purpose trail on the east side allows for alternative modes of transportation around the city. Reuse and recycling. 100% of the old Innerbelt Bridge has been either reused or recycled. The steel has gone to a recycling facility. The concrete has been crushed for use on this or other projects. With a little serendipity, some of the trees which had to be removed were used in a signature art piece in a downtown hotel, while others found a home in the new Cleveland Metro Park Zoo Tiger exhibit. Habitat restoration. Fish habitats were created along the Cuyahoga River in both phases of the bridge project. A threatened species of bird known as the peregrine falcon had made the old bridge home. Now the birds flourish in a new home built by TGR located on a nearby bridge. Context-sensitive project development. This basically translates into working with the public to make decisions regarding the project. The strategy was used in items such as the decorative crowd wall, part of the city's new front door, and the creation of a new neighborhood park where the bridge touches down on the west side earthwork balance. Rather than truck materials off-site, other uses were created to ensure nothing went to a landfill. Along the same lines, rather than bring water on-site to cure concrete, a piping system was developed to draw water from the Cuyahoga River and return it to the river for all mass concrete pours. These are just some of the measures taken to reach the highest level of sustainability on the INVEST scoring system, a system designed to answer the triple bottom line of sustainability, the environmental impacts, the economic impacts, and the social impacts. <laughs>